was smoking all my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats over achieving, never slacking. Today we got more of a, this is a sad video. College wrestler dies after desperately looking for water. And this definitely hurt me because uh, coaches, uh, teammates, everybody should be looking out for each other no matter how hard you train. Everybody should be making sure that everyone is uh, well taken care of. But with that being said, original link will be in the description. We're going to hop right into this. You're watching a college wrestler with just minutes left to live. He was suffering from heat exhaustion and desperate for a sip of water. His parents say his coaches refused to help. Here's Lisa Guerrero. This college athlete is literally dying for a sip of water. He frantically tries to get into this building, but the door is locked. Grant's parents say he ran to this water fountain in a desperate attempt to find water, but the fountain was bone dry. His body was later found just yards away from here. That's horrible. Y'all see how I'm sweating now? I'm trying to knock off the sweat now. I got the light on. You know, because it's very dark in here and it's it's humid. And it's like, I can only imagine how he feel after training and you're looking for water and you just, like, that's, that's horrible. He should have been taken care of. People tried in vain to give 20-year-old Grant Brace CPR. 911. We had an emergency and I got a student. He is, we found passed out. He's not moving. Is he breathing? No, I don't think so. A lot of people refer to him as a gentle giant. You know, he was a big guy. Um, kind of intimidating to look at, but so soft and kind like a teddy bear. Grant's grieving parents, Kyle and Jackie Brace, say their son would still be alive today if only his coaches had let him get a sip of water. He was begging for water. Guys, help me. Please help me. Can you describe what was going on with At that point, somebody was supposed to go against the grain and just be like, you know what, screw this. I'm giving this kid some water. Somebody, listen, let me tell you something. There's a difference between a soldier and a warrior. A soldier does what he's told. A warrior does what he knows is right. And we need more warriors out here. And, and uh, seriously, we need more people who can think for themselves and follow their follow they heart. Because uh, if somebody would have just said, would have just went against the grain, that kid would still be alive today. With Grant in those last moments as he was trying to get through the doors. It was hot. It was very hot. The surveillance video showed that he was trying to get in the school to get help, wasn't successful, and then was found close to a water fountain um, on his hands and knees. An autopsy ruled Grant's death was preventable. The cause? Exertional heat stroke. It's inexcusable. On the day he died, Grant's parents say his coaches made him run up and down this steep Crazy. hill seven times. But when Grant became exhausted and begged for a water break, one of his coaches allegedly told him to keep going or he'd be kicked off the team. They called it Punishment Hill. That's what it was known on campus. It was a That's not right. He was targeted. That's not right at all. Grueling day of practice in 80 degree heat here at the University of the Cumberlands in Kentucky. His friends on the wrestling squad made an effort at giving him water. But according to a wrongful death lawsuit, his two coaches yelled Grant needed to get the water himself. That's when the young man struggled to find water only to face a locked door. Like I said, I'm sweating right now. I can only imagine when he went through having to train that hard in 80 degree weather. Shout out to the teammates that did try though. Uh, them coaches, man, that's, that's just, that's horrific. He was panicked. He clearly needed help. And he wasn't getting help from any of the coaches or any of his teammates. Grant's parents and their attorney, Jamie Moncus, sued his wrestling coaches, Jordan Countryman and Jake Sinkovitz, and the University of the Cumberlands for wrongful death. I knew very early on there was no chance this family was going to be silent in talking about what happened to their son because their main priority was to raise awareness and to tell the story of what happened. I think the coaches, um, ultimately were responsible. His heartbroken sister, Kaylee, yeah. shared voice memos the family discovered Grant had recorded before he died. They don't give me a break. They're all constantly on my ass about the littlest things. It's a pretty messed up situation. In them, she says Grant refers. He knew to record those. He was a smart kid, though. At least people know the truth. And that's 
that that's that's important. You know, at least people that know the truth and know what really happened to him. That'll help his spirit be at rest. Back to the previous season, when he was already worried about his coach's alleged abusive behavior. Grant's daily blog for mom and dad, in case something bad, bad were to happen to me, or uh, the coaches were mistreating me. Hearing your brother say, you know, I'm recording these in case something bad were to happen to me, there's no words. Grant's final words on those recordings. <sighs> I'll see you later. Until next time. But for Grant, there'd never be a next time. The death of a college athlete and his parents say it's all because he was denied a sip of water. It's so egregious. It's absolutely disgusting. Without admitting wrongdoing, the university and Grant's coaches settled a lawsuit with the parents, the school agreeing to pay $14 million. The university also says it will work with an expert to raise awareness about heat-related injuries. Grant's coaches didn't respond to our request for comment. Wow. And I would say not even, I keep having something white on my neck. I think it's from the tissue. It's bothering me. But, um... Not even, not even just heat, you know, the heat problems, but mistreatment of any kind. I think there needs to be uh, an awareness raised because uh, so much stuff be happening. I hear about so much stuff. It's just not right. You know, like they, that, that, that is insane to me. Um, a 14 million payout. It's like, all right, here's the money. Shut up. You know, it's, that's crazy. You know, I mean, they settled that very quickly, but. At the end of the day, still, what you know, them people that never physically have their child in his lifetime again and over something that should have never happened. Like, what day and age do we live in where you just can't get a sip of water, man? It's just some water. It's insane to me, uh. But with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. That That's just... You got to be careful. You know, you got to be careful. You got to watch it. For y'all that got kids out there, young and older, uh, I don't care if they're in college. I don't care if they're in kindergarten. I don't care if they're in preschool. I make sure y'all keep an eye on them because people ain't right, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure, there's a lot of great people out here, but there's a lot of evil, sick people too. A lot of egotistical people who really don't care about the next person, you know? So definitely keep your eye on those y'all love. With that being said, I'll be back with more. And uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Much love, everybody. Be careful out there and drink that water.